everybody, welcome back to our channel. It's Epic Zara, AKA your African Barbie. And I'm back with you to try something really, really interesting. I want to do a challenge. I think this is my first time doing a challenge on our channel. And basically what's going to happen is I'm going to follow the tutorial of another YouTuber, but not just one tutorial. I'm going to follow two tutorials at the same time. And I'm going to post myself recreating the look. The originator of this trend, if I'm not mistaken, is Thomas Halbert. He started with makeup, so shout out to him you guys go check out his channel he's a brilliant artist and the originator of the hair version of this trend is Chizzy Duru so you guys definitely check her out she's a fantastic hair guru so without further ado let's get right into this thank you guys for watching with me if you aren't already subscribed to our channel if you are you already know how we do it here make sure you turn those notifications on to you guys so you know every time we post a new video be sure to also give this video a big thumbs up because it lets YouTube know that you enjoy this type of content be sure to also comment down below let me know what other tutorials you think I should do and share this video with your friends and your loved ones I hope you guys enjoy this as much as I'm about to you know I'm not super fantastic at styling hair so let's see how this goes okay so the two tutorials I'm going to do today one by the chic natural it's an easy 15 minute knotted curly style hopefully I can get this easy style very correct and then the second tutorial I'm going to be doing in the same video is Jasmine Brown's edges tutorial that she posted recently Recently. Let's get right into this, you guys. I'm going to start the Chic Naturals tutorial. Hey guys. So today I'm here to show you how I went from this to a cute curly do in just a few minutes, and it's super easy. So I never experienced it. <laughs> Girl, whoa, whoa, that that's here. way faster than I thought it would be, fam. Let's watch this, and then let's try and do what she's doing. I have my tools here. We're just gonna try and get this right. And back here part in particular is that it really won't be visible when we're all done so it doesn't have to be perfect just make that part more straight across okay okay got it now for okay yeah there's a lot of hair going on here. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna see if I can get it with my hands and then I'm going to clean it up with the comb. Guys, I don't know how she's doing this. I'm here struggling to find these parts of my head. But maybe if you're good at styling hair, this is something that's second nature. You know what, I think I might've gotten it. Let's get in there with that comb so we can make this really pretty like hers is. Oh my gosh, where did it go? Ah! Okay, I need to make this part actually cute. Ooh, whoa, that was not supposed to happen. I'm not really that good at parting my hair, but we're getting better, you know, by God's grace. Wow, okay, that's looking a little bit neat. What's going on? Almost there, just trying to be quick, but also be gentle. I'm actually doing this on slightly stretched hair. My hair is not nearly as stretched as hers is. I figured that this would be the best type of video to do, because at least my hair was stretched enough, I think. Oh. Snap, ooh, my hair is quite kinky. I'm also very tender headed, so we're about to see how I'm finna pull this off. <laughs> ooh, that's kind of crooked, hold on. Yes, part on fleek. Let's see what she says next. Get together and making a low ponytail. Okay, so we're gonna make a low ponytail. Let's see if I could do this while this video is running. Ooh, girl. I'm gonna twist the hair, then bring it up. Hold it flat Wait to my till... head and pin it down with some bobby pins. You know, whatever. Hair up I'm making a bun for now. We're gonna try that later. This is going really fast, y'all. I watched this a bit so I could know what I'm getting myself All into. Right, and this part's a little more challenging. Just about mid brow, I'm making a part on a slight diagonal going towards the back. And it should look like this. Clip the other hair away, and I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Okay, mid brow. Slight and diagonal. This middle section going, and I'm gonna take some gel because I want this to be a sleek Girl. style, and apply that to the front edge Wait, as guys. well as around the pump. Oh my gosh, I don't know if my hair is like sleek enough to do this. I think I need a spray bottle. Hold on, let me go retrieve one. So I'm back with my trusty Westy spray bottle. Let's make this part. So pray for me, you guys. Okay, you know I can't really see where I'm going to. Maybe I'll try and portion out. A little bit of it like I didn't do this right <laughs> oh my gosh this is kind of hard guys Ugh, she said mid brow so that's like right there I don't have fancy clips like she does well actually I do but I didn't really feel like looking for them I just wanted to really try this out guys this part doesn't feel as big as the other part 
Let's actually go in there with the comb now. Look, yo, when I have kids, this needs to get resolved because this is actually a problem. <laughs> like, this is a problem. How can I not part hair? <laughs> Bruh. Ow, snap. Being tender-headed is not the business, yo. Oh my gosh, it's like I got it right, guys. The other side is actually a, a hot mess. I'm gonna have to take this down before I go at this. I really feel like I'm doing geometry. I feel like I was just using a protractor to find the right angle. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Why is this so challenging? Does anybody else struggle like this when parting hair? Oh, guys, my arms, this is like a workout. <laughs> this is a really serious workout, girl or guy. Whew, I think we got it. So she said something about putting gel on there. I think I need to wet my hair and probably brush it out. <laughs> so this is how I'm about to get my hair to be that laid and sleek. She's working on a blowout. I'm working on my normal stretched hair, which is not really flat. Let's keep watching. I think she said use gel. I made. Oh yeah, she's putting gel all around there. Brush it all up to smooth the hair and then clip the section into Snap. a ponytail. I totally forgot my brush. Hold on. <laughs> okay, so she's putting gel on there, then she's making a ponytail. She's using those cute little rubber bands, but I don't have those, so we're gonna just have to use my big dookie rubber band. So I also don't use Eco Styler, I'm just gonna use my Girl is Not. If I could get it out of the container, my goodness. <laughs> Oh, girl or guy, hmm, chic natural, anti oh, hey. This your hair game, no be joke. Guys, don't judge my Nigerian pigeon English. It's really dry. It's really dry. It wasn't as bad as this guy's <laughs> own in. <laughs> Black Panther shade. I think this is the best I got with this gel. I'm like sweating. This is so much work right now. <laughs> okay, I think I got it, right? Let's see what she does next. Eat a twist. Okay, let me just wet this a little more again. Wait, snap. Uh, wait, and she's going real fast. Band to that, so I'm wrapping hey, it. Auntie, slow down now. And you can secure this with a bobby pin if need be, but my hair tends to stay knotted on its own without anything extra. So for the rest of the hair, I'm making another part starting at the end of the wait. part that's already whoa. created. Whoa there, girl. Whoa, 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 whoa. So now she said make a tweezed. And then she makes a bantu knot. Okay, you know what? Right now, this isn't as cute as hers is, but hey, we got this. And dividing the hair in half, going in a downward diagonal. Okay, so she's starting from this little corner here. Apply some gel to each section. Move it. Whoa, she's going kind of fast. Make a ponytail. How am I gonna do this? My roots are real kinky right now, y'all. Gonna wet it down. Woo! Oh my gosh, low porosity struggles. As soon as I put water on my hair, it's like trying to run off of my hair. Gonna go in there with my hands as usual. Thick hair struggle. Basically, she's making a triangle. I don't even know if I'm doing this right. Ow, oh my God, oh my God. Uh, oh my gosh, <laughs> I need some AC guys. If this bothers the audio, forgive me. It's just, whoa, I'm feeling this. There's just a lot of hair here. I feel like it's not having the same effect that hers is having, you know? Okay, so my edges are trying to break free. I'm just gonna let them. Since the second tutorial we're doing in the same video has to do with edges. So um, she said, put some gel on that. Before we put some gel on that, let me put some leave-in on that because I think that's gonna help me personally. You know, we're bootlegging it a little bit, so I'm just gonna do like that while I get this. <laughs> and I'm gonna put my products that I use down below because obviously I'm not using all the same products, guys. So I'm just gonna get that all in my hair. And now I'm gonna brush without messing up the part. Oh no, baby, what is you doing? I feel like somebody could make a meme to this video <laughs> with that. I'm just gonna let my edges do whatever they wanna do. They're not trying to get in there. They're not trying to get information. <laughs> Back to our bootleg clip. Get this out. Eh. One eternity later. Okay. Okay. I can see why everybody loves gel. Wow, maybe that's how much gel I should have used on the other section. Okay. 
Okay, so I already did that, you know, because I read her hey, mind or whatever. No, she's like really fantastic. I don't know how she does all these styles from. Her edges are life. Okay, so both people whose videos I'm doing today, their edges go all the way over here. I'm just like, bro, why can't that be me? I'm sorry, I'm making a downward diagonal part. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna do another triangle and hope that works out. Let's pause this so we don't miss anything crucial. Can I wipe my hair again? Cause my hair ain't fit apart. Let me just get that good and saturated. Now I'm gonna take my rat to now I'm gonna take my rat tail comb for real and I'm going to just clean that up because that's kind of a mess. I feel like I'm an athlete, guys. This is actually flipping an Olympic sport. Who can do their hair the best? Who can do their hair the fastest? You get a 10 for neat parts. You get a 10 for perfect Bantu knots. <laughs> it's probably still going to be a bit uneven, but we're just gonna go with it as is because I just know. <laughs> it's a no for me, Simon. I hope this looks cute, guys. I hope I can actually wear this outside. <laughs> Not to just be doing something crazy and then looking crazy too. Okay, oh my gosh, we made it past stage one, yay! We're going to follow Jasmine's tutorial. I'm going to open up her tutorial in a new window. Since this is an edge tutorial, I'd like us to do the edges now. Let them marinate while we work on the party in the back, you feel me? So, <laughs> let's do that really quickly. Okay, yes girl, I see you, okay. Guys, her edges, like I said earlier, they also go like this, so I don't know how we're about to make this work, hey everyone, but. everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to get these wavy, baby hairs, right? Okay. If you wanna see, then keep on watching, and I'll go ahead and show you guys right okay. here, so let's get started. Okay, so. I'm okay, so nothing's happening face. yet. Okay, it still looks cute. Let's fast forward a bit. Okay, so today for this, I'm going to need my Eco Spider Gel. Actually, okay, maybe something's happening. Let's not fast forward. But I'm not going to be using Eco Styler. I don't like that gel. It's too high in protein for me. I'm really protein sensitive, so we're not about to do that. And then I'm going to need a baby hair brush. Normally, you can. Okay, I don't know where my baby hair brush is, guys. Okay, yeah, that's really cute. I'm actually gonna need some water if you're coming to Nigeria, get me one, please. Here, Thank you. Okay, she's spraying. Whoa. Oh, please stay on my edges and not on my makeup. Because I can't do my baby hairs unless my hair is. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the gel. Put it on my fingers and I basically just lock it uh, on the front of my hair like this. Okay. And I'll like it to the side. I keep forgetting that this gel is really snotty. The okay, so I don't know if I could do all my edges at one time because this gel is really serious. Whoa, Jasmine. Whoa, girl. Slow down. Hold on a second. Let me just get this all over everywhere guys. I didn't think I would do that, but I guess that's how we're gonna do it today. I might have to work a little faster than she does because my edges are like type four edges. So, you know, they like to do their own thing, which is not a problem. I love my edges, but in order to fleek them, I'm gonna have to probably work faster. Down in the front, just like this. Okay, so I don't have a brush. Just it all the way I can't find it. So we're gonna work with the comb. Now I like to get the comb side and stuff. If you haven't tried a comb, then you need to. So basically, it's like this, and then go up, and then go, just like move your finger along with it. Oh my gosh. And then hold your finger up. I feel like this is a hot mess right now. Okay, wait, let's stop. I think I need more gel. I just hope this doesn't end up looking really crusty, guys. I think I need my brush, but I don't know where it is. It like disappeared and never came back. Let's see if I could do it with this brush. So you guys, you see that huge brush? This is where I realized I made a big mistake. Let's just keep watching. Seems like it's getting a little bit better. Let's go back in there. Okay, they literally just came all the way up. I can't do this right now. No, I'm gonna get this right. I'm not giving up. Hold on. But why is my technique so bad? Many unbearable hours later. So guys, my card actually got full in the process of me filming. 
But the good news is that I found my baby hair brush. So I've wiped my edges with some baby wipes and we're going to start over because I cannot afford to fail. All right, and it's so let's like rewind and then Jasmine's video a bit so we can see exactly what she's doing. Okay, so she makes this look very easy. I'm gonna start again with the gel. I don't know if I'll be able to use the comb. It just makes my hair really PC and awkward. So we're just gonna smooth it. Now I'm gonna get my baby hair brush. It's really dirty. Don't judge me, please. <laughs> Smoothing everything down, including the makeup on my forehead, but that's fine. So she uses a comb, but I'm going to try using my brush. So this is kind of a hot mess, but we're gonna do it again. Cause she said, keep doing it till you get it. Oh my gosh, my makeup is like <laughs> congealing everywhere. Oh snap. Messed that up. This looks problematic. I don't think baby hairs are for me guys, but let me just kind of push them into my head. Wow, the video's over and we're still here struggling. The way I'm going to deep condition my hair after all of this. <laughs> Look, I'm just slapping this all over. I'm just, I don't really, don't really care anymore. Wait, but that worked. Before this side decides it doesn't want to stay, let me quickly just toss on my scarf and we'll try and get the other side to work. Okay, cool, figured it out. <laughs> so let's lay those edges while we try and get the other ones to get information. Maybe the issue was not enough gel. Who knows? I could be learning a lot from this challenge, you guys. Like learning that gel is the way to slay those edges oh my that might be too much let me just use some baby wipe awkward <laughs> maybe get off a little bit of the excess there let's give this a shot that whole continuous wave i can't really get it so i'm gonna fake it i obviously can't make it you know what when the scarf comes off miracles happen so let's just pop the scarf on and see if we can make a miracle happen I think that's pretty much all of Jasmine's tutorial. Let's just watch to the very end. And yeah, so that's the simple way that I get my Girl, that was not simple. Oh, which plan is that simple, girl? You know that was not simple. It was super, super simple. I'm pretty sure all of y'all can do that. And if you don't have baby hairs, go ahead and check out my last video because I showed y'all how to get baby hairs. Okay, well, that's that. So we're moving on to the next part of Anti Chic Naturals tutorial because I'm sure at this point I feel like I can pull anything off after having struggled through that. Okay, great. We already did this part. Yes. Guys, you know, I'm remembering all of that in pain. My edges don't like to do all of those things, and I'm fine with that. <laughs> Want to cover and the okay, so we need a stocking cap. Style, Let me get one. Okay, stocking cap. And she's using a lace wig. Wait, girl, yo. Okay, before we get to that, let me like get this stocking cap on, but my edges still need some deliverance. So I'm probably just gonna be awkward and tie this like this so they can continue to set. That's a little too weird, right? Ah! Oh my god, you see what I mean? I'm going to put on this wig cap, you guys. Like we said, I'm not finna put my hair in a twist after all of this stress of keeping my hands up for how many years. Okay, let's just put this on here. So I'm placing it on and I'm using this. She's using a synthetic wig. The closest thing I have to that is this really ratchet, rough crochet wig that I've had for like two years, literally. Um, I think we could use that. I'll have to use bobby pins to get it to stay though. Okay, so bobby pins and this wig super old but i actually think this could work out you know wow so my edges are still struggling yeah i've just accepted their fate at this point wow okay well this side does look pretty okay practice makes perfect maybe another time i can try the whole edge thing wow it's kind of crooked so far but i guess that's where the bobby pins come in this is the bootleg version of her tutorial because we're not using some nice shiny new synthetic wig. We're using my standard synthetic wig. Okay, so we're almost there. I don't think this is actually looking half bad right now. 
miraculously. My edges are definitely struggling, but it's fine. Like I said, you know, I love my kinky kinky edges. Oh my gosh, she's actually looking kind of sexy. What girl? Uh-uh. Who's trying to date? Cause your girl's looking brand new. Feeling brand new too. I think we need one more bobby pin right here to actually make this look really bang. Ow, sway. Okay y'all, so this is the completed look. We don't look as popping as anti-chic natural, but I tried. <laughs> and of course my edges are struggling quite a bit, but hey, maybe if I try this look again and do it properly, it might come out really well. What do you guys think? I tried super hard. Shout out to the Chic Natural and Jasmine Brown for the fantastic tutorials. Trying to be like that when I grow up. I think this actually turned out much better than I expected. The Bantu knots, I placed them a bit awkwardly. They're a bit far back on my head, so I'll have to be cognizant of that kind of thing next time. Otherwise, I think the style looks pretty cute. So you all, thank you so much for watching. Wow, I can't believe we got through that in one piece. <laughs> Please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below, let me know if you think I did a good job. Let me know what tutorials you think I should do next. <laughs> Share this video with your friends and your loved ones. I'm pretty sure they're gonna need a good laugh. Everybody needs to go laugh every once in a while and this was pretty interesting <laughs> last but certainly not least be sure to subscribe to our channel if you're not subscribed i don't know what you're doing our channel's real real pop in with some sexy edits and some banging videos so subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know every time we post a new video thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video i love you guys and god bless every single one of you peace